What is up my energy bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is COD 2020. And before I get into the video I just want to say that I have a Twitch channel that I live stream to weekly where I play the likes of Warzone, Minecraft that I'm going to be getting into and hopefully a new series on this channel as well. Link down in the description below. So let's get straight into it guys. So the end of April or the beginning of May is when we usually have a title reveal, a teaser or even a trailer but with everything that's happening in the world right now we did not actually get to see anything. <sighs> Almost a month ago we got a leak that was on the PlayStation named the Red Door. Now this was actually a closed internal alpha for COD 2020. Now this is for game testers to be able to download the game and play the game to see how it runs. Is there any glitches or any bugs, any audio issues? Basically their job is basically more or less to break the game and to tell them Tell the game developers well this is broken and it needs to be fixed in this part and what they did how they did it and is there a way to fix it or more or less something like that anyway because that's what i had to do in college for a period of time when we were just getting used to doing all new stuff and everything like that and we did games development and that's what we actually had to do and of course many uh computer technicians or even developers the likes of microsoft dell and all those they all do this as well with their programs or applications that they make as well so it's it's pretty it's a pretty good thing to have to get all the bugs or flaws out of your application program or even your game now about three or four days ago on the xbox store we actually got more information and it was actually called Call of Duty Black Ops CIA. Now you may be thinking to yourself, hmm, is this what the game is going to be called? I don't think so. Now I don't think it will because like I said in previously, the red door is just for game testers and game developers to go on and add, remove, fix, change the game and it's when you if you don't understand what I'm on about, take Look at a jigsaw, uh, this jigsaw has a thousand pieces, you have the frame done of the jigsaw and now it's time to put the pieces into the right place, into the frame and you're constantly moving, taking, changing, replacing pieces with new pieces to see if it fits until you finally create your jigsaw piece and this is basically what the red door is for game developers and for game testers. You have your jigsaw aka the red door and you have game testers who can go in and play the unfinished game to see if it works and then you have game developers who can go in and change stuff around add new items or objects or even remove these items or old objects or stuff like that now on the xbox store it does have additional information about this game published by activision publishing inc meaning incorporated approximate size 81.65 gigabytes and then they have the age rating for ages 17 and up of course we have tons of rumors of what the game's title could be first we had the call of duty vietnam then we had call of duty black ops cold war then we had call of duty black ops now regards to warzone i'll actually make a video about the warzone story and how it's kind of going to be a bit weird and will it work the whole story in the next installment of a call of duty game called 2020 and i'll actually have that in another video in the coming days so when will we see a reveal or even a little teaser of the next call of duty game could it be in season 5 of warzone why because data miners have actually found audio clips of woods now it won't be the same person as the original woods in the original call of duty black ops series it will actually be another actor and voice actor now like i said 
I'll talk about the story of Warzone and how it will be in the next Call of Duty game in another video, but with us seeing so many rumors of game titles, I kind of feel like the game could actually be called Call of Duty Black Ops. Now, you're probably thinking, why would I think that, or why would some other people think that? Well, it's kind of simple when you think about it. Look at Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. This is a reboot and it was called Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Of course, loads of people call it Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 because that's when it was made. So if COD 2020 is going to be a reboot, which most people already know or think that it is, the only logical thing to do then is to call it Call of Duty Black Ops because that's what it's literally going to be. Modern Warfare... The first one was called Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Many people call it COD 4 now. And it was the fourth game. And Call of Duty Black Ops was the first Call of Duty Black Ops game. So if we're going on that logic, then Call of Duty Black Ops 2020 will be called Call of Duty Black Ops. That's just the way I look at it. And it kind of just makes sense in my personal opinion as well. Calling it Call of Duty Vietnam doesn't really make sense. Calling it COD Black Ops World fucking Cold War doesn't really make sense either. But Black Ops, it's simple and it makes sense. And I think that's what they're going to do. But yeah, if you have your opinion, leave down below. This is the end of the video, guys. I hope you did like it. If you did, please hit the like button. Right beside the like button should be the subscribe button. And beside that should be the notification bell that you can hit to stay up to date whenever I go live on this channel, which is rare. And whenever I upload to this channel, which is weekly. Speaking of live streams, like I said, I have a live stream that I stream to on my Twitch channel. Link down in the description below. Where you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I go live. And I really butcher that whole sentence. I don't know how I did that. I also have a Twitter that I manually update whenever I upload a video to my YouTube channel. Or whenever I go live on my YouTube channel, which is rare, like I said. Or whenever I go live on my Twitch channel, like I said, that is weekly. Link down in the description below to that. And yeah, there's you guys. Hope you like, favorite, and subscribe. And peace.